Hi folks, I thought to do a, well, a bit of an update on garden. Uh, quite a few things about seeds. I've saved some seeds, I've planted some seeds, and now I've got to post some seeds <laughs> at last. Chamomile for Halva, garden in Norway. <laughs> I've had them dry, I've dried them, so now I'll get them in post here on Monday, mate. Sorry it took so long, but you won't need them until spring, or you might start them in grow room, but they're, they're on the way now, and they smell great. I haven't counted them, <laughs> they're very tiny. Uh, yeah, uh, so a bit of update on garden. A quick look in my worm bin, how that was going, because I've never, I haven't updated that, so I've just done a little update. And uh, some interesting seeds as it goes, and a bit of mulching. But anyway, I'll shut up and get on with it. Now, I know you haven't seen these guys for a long time. This is my worm bin. I have actually harvested some out of it and I've re when I've repotted the uh, kiwis and stuff in here but I'll give you a quick look they had what were left of the uh, pumpkin well not what were left of it what what I chopped out of it quite a few wormlies there look can we see I think we're doing all right. Cover them boys back up. Say hello. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some seeds out of this. If I were a real man, I'd get my hands right in there, wouldn't I? But I'm gonna try with this. Just borrowed this from the children from the sand pit, and I'm gonna dig some seeds out and see what I can get. There you go. Absolutely loads. He said some have started to sprout, but while well, I'll rinse them off, there's loads more in there. I'll rinse them off and, uh, and dry them out. Well, look what the good ones are and dry them out, pick the bigger ones and the better ones. And I think that has gone to go in the compost. So there's quite a few that have sprouted. There seems to be quite a lot there, so what I'll do is I'll separate them and uh, dry them out. At least they're viable. Sun's come out as well, so I might be able to get grass cut. So, folks, I have a few seeds here, and uh, after a little bit of help from Dan at Lomond Diary, I were asking about um, stratifying them. And apparently, well, what he said to me is they're better to go straight into the ground and naturally do the thing over winter. Now, these are Japanese maple, sorry about the old shaky hand. These are Japanese maple, Acer japonica, or japonicum. I'll uh, show you a proper name, and I did get a picture at Leaf a few weeks ago, that one well, tree, now it's all died off, that's why I've collected these now, it's on a job I'm at, I found them, they were just scattered on the ground, so I thought I'd put a few in my pocket, and I'm going to just stick them in these pots here, and the potting mix I've done here is 50% um, compost and 25% perlite, 25% sand, now I'm going to plant them all, I don't know whether I'll have any success, but I'll wait till spring and see. So I know we've all seen planting seeds before. Normally, I would pick out the best, but I'm gonna go for them all just in case. So I'll get the nice big ones, they're quite good. But I'm just gonna put them around the edge of this. And hopefully, Next spring, I'll have some nice Japanese maples. Well, I've been trying to get grass cut <laughs> all last week, but it's just been pretty much like this. They say it's going to clear up in the afternoon, but the grass is sopping wet. Now what I've got to do is uh, trim some bushes back and shred them. Mulch, 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 mulch. I might have a go at that as well, I forgot time. I've got a few things I want to trim back. Got to do some stuff down here. There's a ginster ginst bush down at the bottom and some other stuff. And my corn. I'm going to cut them the corn and shred that as well. Incidentally, next year I think I'll be doing these corn like tables and deep trench. I like that idea. That was some noise. I'll speed this up.
So, give this an air cut. I'm not going to bore you. So you watch it, watching it, but it's all going into the shredder. And I've just been up and look at the mason bees. I seem to have caught another one, but I don't know whether one's hatched or it's been predated. I'll give you a look at that in a sec. So that looks a bit better. A bit more shredding to do. I'm going to have some lunch. These are mason bees. That one wasn't full before. But these four were. But that one's opened up, look. Uh, I can't see it that it's hatched. So probably something's got at it. I don't know. But I only got them five. What I'll do is I'll bring that inside each shed and overwinter it up a little. They'll hatch out in summer then. I'll have to do a better version of this. It smells from just looking out while I'm here. This is lemon balm, self seeds all over the garden. It's one of them plants that if you plant it once, you've got it forever. It's not a problem, I quite like it. It's uh, My wife made some uh, syrup and showed a mixed tea out of it, so it's useful, you know. As I'm down here, some more interesting mushrooms. I keep finding fungus around the place. It's that time of year, I suppose. Look at that. Yeah, what is it? That's it. What's Bloomly. Yes. Apple blooming. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the winter blooming. Yes. 